you know, nearly half of all blacks uh, are not okay with white people, according to this poll, not according to me, according to this poll. And I would say, you know, based on the current way things are going, the best advice I would give to white people is to get the hell away from black people. Just get the f*** away. Wherever you have to go, just get away. Because there's no fixing this. So that's what I did. I went to a neighborhood where, you know, I have a very low black population. Because unfortunately, you know, there's a high correlation between the density. And this is according to Don Lemon, by the way. I've lived in several predominantly white neighborhoods in my life. I rarely, if ever, witness people littering. I live in Harlem now. It's an historically black neighborhood. Every single day I see adults and children dropping their trash on the ground when a garbage can is just feet away. Um, so here I'm just quoting Don Lemon when, when he notes that the, when he lived in a uh, mostly black neighborhood, there were a bunch of problems that he didn't see in white neighborhoods. Being alive in modern times is a ton of looking around at everybody, uh, waiting to find out who is problematic. And today, it's the comic strip Dilbert. Mm. The secret he's been hiding behind that blank vanilla stare, he's got a racist daddy. We turn now to the fallout from the racist rant by the creator of one of the nation's top comic strips. Newspapers across the country are dropping Dilbert. The Star Tribune in Minneapolis has joined the Los Angeles Times, Washington Post and USA Today. No longer printing the cartoon, poking fun at office culture. There is no neutral place. Inaction mm -hmm. is a form of action. If you are not actively interrupting the system, you are colluding with it. Um, I would ask you to Look yourself in the mirror, look right into your own eyes and say, I choose to collude with white supremacy and then carry on. But let's do it with honesty. There's no neutral place. But what I want to do is create a culture that actually spits out those who are resistant as opposed to what it does now, which is spit out those who want to uh, break with white solidarity and and contribute, if that makes sense. Right. Uh, and then I'm a big believer in affinity space and affinity work. And I think people of color need to get away from white people <laughs> and, and have some community um, with each other.